actionfigureresource.com. Yesterday's toys, today's treasures. Okay, this is the Bishop action figure by NECA, released in 2013, Wave 3, along with the Dog Alien and Kane. As you can see here, clamshell packaging, which uh, is uh, the kind where they seal it in there. You're going to have to use scissors to get it out. Really fantastic likeness of Lance Henriksen here on the side. It's pretty sparse otherwise, just a, your, your standard bubble with some accessories up here. This one's got a little bit of a problem. We'll come to that in a bit. Okay, so let's open this bad boy up. All right, now I'm going to be very gentle with him because I've read some complaints about NECA figures online uh, breaking a little bit too easily. So, uh, okay, first off, let's look at the sculpt. The detail there, can you see that? Okay, first of all, blue jumpsuit, not exactly going to blow you folks away in terms of detail. It's not the most ostentatious outfit to capture in plastic, shall we say. But uh, they had to work with what they got. So looking at this, there's some really lovely creasing along here. Just look at that. Definitely a jumpsuit. Hangs on his body pretty well. The eye is automatically drawn to the sneakers. Look at those guys. These sort of space age, what are they, Reeboks? Gonna say Reeboks. Very similar to the ones that Ripley wears. He's got this kind of uh, chimpanzee stance, I'm going to call it. Which is ironic, since Neko also did the uh, Planet of the Apes line. In terms of posability, points of articulation all over the place. Got these swivel ball joints in the shoulders. A oh, looks like split, but it's actually uh, swivel ball joints on the uh, hips again. And pelvis. Again, it's quite stiff, really don't want to force any of these, if I can help it. Kind of scared, seeing pictures of missing legs. It is a little bit creepy, looking at this face. Look at that. It is a tiny little Lance Henriksen. I prefer the term artificial human myself. Ugh. Okay, but I mean, that's good. You kind of want um, NECA figures or uh, something which is replicating a movie to skirt that uncanny valley. Very big pelvis, I will say. Look at that. That's uh, that is a giant sporran he's wearing there. Sort of a oop, flexible rubber. And uh, it's uh, to allow him full leg movement, but it uh, emphasizes the high-waisted jeans that for some reason everyone was wearing in this film. Admittedly, though, it does give him a little bit of a wet nappy stance, a diaper, if you're American, and most of you are. Look at that. He has soiled himself. I suppose it's really up to you to pose him in a way that does not emphasize that wet nappy. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to make him stand. And... Nope. A little posing... Just about, yeah. Move him along there, and there you go. Got a standing bishop. And all the action poses that we remember bishop doing, like uh, just sort of standing in the background looking a bit creepy. And actually, when you turn him on that angle, his eyeballs look, look at that. Creep show and a half. You know, which is fine. Because, I mean, if anyone's going to make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, it's going to be bishop. You know, that's, that was the whole point of him. And then it turns out at the end, he's actually a stand-up guy. Or, well, not so much a stand-up guy after the Alien Queen's finished with him. Okay, so let's look at those accessories. Okay, so first off, we've got what looks like a flashlight or a flask or some kind of medical aid thing, which he can hold in his hand. I mean, really, putting the action in action figures right there. Uh, this, again going to be a movie accurate prop they wouldn't have included it in the figure unless it was actually relevant in some capacity is it a flashlight i think it's just a flashlight that's fine with a strap that's pretty good and what else have we got we've got a dagger a knife with which bishop can play the knife game okay however as you can see 
not holding it too well in. It kind of, yeah, naturally, no, he kind of holds it. In a kind of, I'm going to throw this, like, it, it is a throwing knife, if you look at it. But for that, he's going to need an additional hand. Now, that is this. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if we can hold that up there. Okay. Look at that weird little finger. What is that? That's the thing that's bothering me. I'm going to photograph this for you guys. Okay, so let's remove this hand. Oh, God, gently. Oh, God. Because this has happened to me with Street Fighter figures before. You just gently pull and then... Ow. Oh, that hurt my fingers. How ironic. And pop this bad boy in there gently. Gently. Oh, my God. Okay, that's uh, that's not really fitting in there without being forced. I am worried here. I am only doing this for you guys. Okay, and we're in. This is fine now. Bishop has got a creepy hand. Look at that. I can tell you right now, this hand is going to spend a very short time on this body for me in my collection. Now, this allows Bishop to hold the knife in a kind of a really kind of like a I stab you away. You know, he's going to violate that prime directive. But it also allows him to hold it like so. And go tappy 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 with the knife and uh, put put your Hudson figure in danger. So I mean, uh, frankly, just having him stand here like this, yeah, disturbing. Not really Bishop in my head. So that's that's coming straight off. And uh, oh, I do, I, I do love it though. Look at that. He's got a presence to him. Lance Henriksen has a presence. And this bishop figure has imported a little of that into the plastic, which is reassuring. Okay, let's get this hand off gently, oh so gently. Oh, reassuring click. Thank you, Neca, for making sure that one worked, because I would have wept. I would have wept on camera for you folks. Okay, so on its own, your bishop figure kind of lacking in context. When you say you, you really need him to be with some other Marines. I mean, even just like if you've got a bunch of aliens and no one else, it's going to it's going to make for an odd display piece on its own. But he gives vital support and context to your other Marine characters. And especially if you've got an Ellen Ripley, if you're lucky enough to have picked one of those up in 2014, it kind of makes Bishop a little bit of a prop. So um, let's adopt a five-star system on this one, shall we? Uh, I'm going to give this one a four, and here are my reasons. Uh, five would be for if he was an absolutely essential character, like uh, Alan Ripley, your alien queen, uh, but he's more of a support role. Uh, he also, I'm going to dock a little bit of that. Like that is that's confirmation, like that weird little finger thing there, and just the fear of removing the hand and possibly experiencing. Uh, it's, it's, it's discouraging, which, I mean, you know, it's, it's nice that they give you the bonus, but, um, that just sort of nudges it def down to a definite four. I mean, but four's good, wouldn't you say? Should we go with four stars? Should we go with out of ten, in fact? In which case we'll make this, uh, let's call it a seven. It is lacking in action awesomeness. He works fantastically as a prop. Action awesomeness sounds like a, a terrible superlative, which I would not normally use. But good likeness, a little bit too creepy on the eyes, possibly intentional. And uh, this giant pelvis is going to draw the eye. But otherwise, sculpting excellent, posability fantastic. And he will display with your other NECA aliens figures. And indeed, all your other NECA movie figures in the 7-inch scale. Pretty superbly. So yeah, I'm giving him a 7. And for scale, let's stick him next to a Masters of the Universe Classics Man-at-Arms. There you go. Okay. So yeah, that's Bishop. The virtuous android. Artificial person. ActionFigureResource.com
Yesterday's toys, today's treasures.